Hi, I'm Peter Partington. I'm an artist, mainly interested in birds and wildlife. And I've been doing it all my life and observing nature very keenly. Sometimes you can draw from memory. I thought maybe you'd like to see how I do it. How to draw a kingfisher, for instance. I'll just emphasize those lines a bit so they can see them a bit better. It's a little bit faded out on here. And um, what, you, what you can do to start a bird painting is to, or a bird drawing is to, eventually a painting we hope, is to uh, start with a kind of streamlined shape always. <coughs> and uh, gradually elaborate on that, put the head in to, according to the size and scale you want to use of the bird that you're actually drawing. Uh, if this was a kingfisher, you'd have to start adding a bill and the eye would be roughly along the line of the bill. So you got say say we do three shapes. So we do three, four shapes. And I'm using these guidelines to gradually elaborate. So first we start with the head. Roughly a head and then perhaps we'll move the bill around a bit. Let's have the bill down here looking over it's just a bit over its wing a bit emphasize the roundness of the body there we are start again it's a very simple method this of quickly putting down a bird shape get the eye to one side we're looking on the top of the head more there so make sure the eyes are in a line there make sure the bill begins to line up with the eye you can add the tail and then the foot. It's got a little short leg, so they're a bit easier to draw than some birds, so they just perch like that. Um, it's got a white collar at the back, white throat patch. Well, I'll use a rubber. Don't be worried about using a rubber because all artists actually have to erase at some time. I like, I like erasing. I like just taking out, especially taking out light taking out a uh, pencil to suggest light. There we are, the eyes and the build sort of join up a bit. Make him a bit more rotund, add a bit of kind of plumage detail. These are called the coverts. There's the secondary feathers there that unfurl in flight. There's the primaries sitting down there, the tail. We could cut out a little, little bit under the tail there add a little bit of texture and feathering strange feathers the kingfish has got on the head those those wonderfully uh, iridescent feathers that's something for him to perch on or her to perch on i should say it might be a female the female would have some orange on the bill at the base there so there we are now what I like to do is to start just adding a bit of colour to that because I could I could actually trace it if I wanted to. I could trace that off now and use it in another picture. Let's add a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue to the head. There we are. Now that goes round to the back a bit and then the wings are blue. A little bit of blue under the chin. A little bit of blue on the wings quite pale very pale blue on the back it's not really a color it's all to do with light i'm going to squeeze the brush out with the tissue now you see and just take that out you know, take the loose watercolor out with the brush i'm going to emphasize under the wing now with a deeper blue so i'm going to slip deeper blue under there under here and on the secondary feathers and the the primaries tend to be a bit brown or grayer they don't have the color they don't bother to put the color in i want 
you can see how it's going if i move that about a bit it'll stay focused a bit uh, i'm going to add some dark color now i'm going to add a brown a deep dark brown for the eyes under here leave a little bit of tone under there the bill this will be a male kingfisher let's make it nice and black to show up put some nice orangey red for the breast made up out of um, cadmium orange and red a lot more yellow than you might think in the feathers of a kingfisher's breast that's what gives it that terrific uh, lovely lighting up contrast Then that goes under the the orange will continue under on the undertail coverts. All right, then let's turn it, turn it into a female kingfisher. Give it a bit more resonance. Let's give it a bit more colour, and you can see how the wings probably need a bit more dark under there, just to contrast with the back. Because we have a, and I'm going to add the teeniest tiniest bit of white just across here just picking up the picking up the um light glistening on the feathers on the bright feathers and a little bit of white in the eye and i'm going to deepen up under the eye i'm going to use a dark uh dark brown again blackish perhaps add a bit of black just for contrast under the eye their eyes are set there's a kind of channel along the bill there they can see the fish that they're going to aim at eventually the uh the branch can have a color let's let's make it raw sienna is that a color if it shows up yes that's good that's showing up the legs and feet of course from observation you'll remember are red quite bright bright little red actually now that's this is the moment when really you've got to stop and uh, not rush into things you can have a look at it let it dry the head at the back's got a little bit uh, a little bit uh, wide up there let's that gives it a bit more if we just take that bit off I can take that out with a bit of white <clears throat> I'm not averse to using white or using gouache with watercolour. I do it more these days. Makes it a little bit easier. A little bit of light along the bill there. Take that out slightly. Narrow the bill a bit. And I've missed out the lovely white um, throat white throat patches here so i'm going to put those in with a bit of white and that is the kingfisher more or less uh, painted and drawn but i'm going to add just a bit of uh, this is my my study my sketch study i'm going to add i'm going to add some green at the back there suggestive of foliage and perhaps have a think about what i'm going to put at the back there maybe maybe some lovely uh start putting some lovely uh iris leaves or something flag iris very characteristic of kingfisher's habitat and you could make quite a lot of that really you could actually turn the whole thing into a composition but I'll have to get rid of my other sketches when I've shown you how to do the Kingfisher. I enjoyed this doing this and it's nice to show people, give people and future artists some kind of idea of what goes on when we actually depict something fairly carefully. That's got a bit purple. It doesn't always work this business, you know. I probably realize it yourselves <coughs> I'm going to put a little bit of um, 
shadow under the under the, around the legs there just to and perhaps suggest along the back there that the kingfisher is casting a shadow on that branch well there's a lot uh, that can be done there's a lot that could be improved in that sketch but if you treat your sketches simply as sketches or your work as an ongoing process something that's never quite finished go on to the next painting enjoy the next picture don't worry too much about it try again do another kingfisher different attitude different pose practice my method of quick sketching a little bit something a little bit wrong now now i've got to wait until it dries though before i can correct that because if i try to correct it now it'll all start running and get messier and messier so i'll add a bit more a few more reeds at the back there let's have a nice bright set, uh, suggestion of a flag iris there at the back see i've done that i've done the uh little watercolour amongst all my other sketches so it looks as if I might have to trace that off anyway and uh, there we are you can see it a bit better now the camera focuses on it the green hasn't come up terribly well I'm going to just add a bit more intensity of green there see if you can get a bit more sense of how green that is I could make it rather darker add a dark green and let that knock it out a little bit with a let with a bit of raw sienna that messes up your paints of course but you have to clean them we'll have to clean them up later there we are so it's, that's a bit of contrast on the foliage at the back no i'm uh, just filming I'll have to um, warn you when I'm filming next time, won't I? No, it's all right. 